Hello, my name is Joel Dunning and I've got great pleasure in again bringing you Sven Seifert and the fantastic team in Chemnitz who are really flying with the new uh, CMR surgical versus robotic uh, thoracic surgery system. So I just wanted to show you a few images. This is Sven and his team setting up the robot. Uh, as you can see it's a very different system to other robots. The arms are held like a sword uh, and, uh, and really nice and small individual modules. We can see them inserting the instruments here uh, into the chest. Um, today we're going to do something extremely novel. Uh, they're already doing lobectomies, segmentectomies, thymectomies and today it's an absolutely brand new type of case. This is going to be a laser metastasectomy. Uh, we're just going to show you how they dock the arms. Uh, this is a, a second instrument arm coming in uh, and as you can see, you just position it exactly where you want. It's very versatile, uh, very maneuverable, and then you dock each one in. Uh, we're going to be doing a left-sided laser metastasectomy. So as a quick reminder, this is the setup of the ports. Uh, we're actually not going to deal have a third port today. And uh, this is what the arms look like uh, in a lab. Uh, just for your information in case you haven't seen it before. So we'll go straight over to the operation where we'll get started. So here we are, uh, we're in the left chest and first of all we put the ports in and Sven is just using a kitna to find some nodules. Um, this patient had uh, renal cancer and this was for uh, histology really and you can see those little white dots there are the suspicious nodules on the CT scan and Sven and his team have designed a very clever way to combine their laser with the bipolar forceps of the CMR system. They've simply attached the laser to one of the grasper arms, but only one, so they can still use it as a grasper. So we have lifted up the upper lobe, and uh, very easily we've identified the nodules, and we can now laser around the nodule so that we can remove it uh, for histological diagnosis. The really great thing about a laser is that it uh, is quite aerostatic so that uh, it doesn't cause a big air leak uh, and you can just uh, laser it out. Um, you can, we get, we're using CO2 in this system but you can uh, open one of the ports to, to get rid of the smoke and this actually saves on staplers which is great. We are using a three-arm technique here and uh, we've got a uh, bipolar grasper in the left arm, a grasper in the right arm. You can see the icons on the CMR surgical system here. They're actually coloured because obviously the instrument uh, units can be either side of the chest. You can actually assign arms to your left or right arm. We've got a cyan instrument on the left and a purple instrument on the right. Uh, and, uh, and a third arm was deemed not necessary, so it's docked and it's green, but it's not being used. Uh, Sven, in addition, had an extra 5mm port, just so we could grasp and also remove uh, the resected nodules as well. So a really nice system. You can really see how useful it is to have a robotic instrument, so he can get exactly the correct angle for the laser. Uh, and uh, this is much easier than trying to do it by a VATS approach. The instruments are all 5mm because it's a 5mm system, uh, the CMR surgical system, uh, apart from the endoscope, which is a 10mm system. Really a very lovely way uh, to do nodules, especially for peripheral nodules, nodules against the pleura. has a nice panned back view, so you get a good view of the chest. We just got rid of some of the smoke. Uh, and again, he's just curving around uh, that higher of the two nodules. There are just two nodules here, which, as I said, were suspicious for renal uh, metastases. Uh, the grasp has got a nice good strength, so it can lift up, and we can just get to any angles we like uh, to diathermy around it. Uh, this is in the upper lobe, and then there is another one uh, in the lower lobe. 
these will be quite small, so we're not going to need uh, much of a larger incision to remove these, which is a real advantage. So we really are going to just be sticking to very small 5mm ports with one 10mm port. Sven and his team have been doing a great job of a whole host of operations. They've been adding a third arm for retraction and doing lobectomies and segmentectomies uh, and do keep tuned for further um, videos of this on our YouTube channels and on our media sites. But I think you can agree that was a really, it's a really nice way to get rid of these nodules, leaving a nice uh, desiccated aerostatic surface, hemostatic surface on the upper lobe. And now uh, Sven's looking for this lower lobe nodule. Just because he doesn't have a third arm, he's just getting his assistant to use a kitna to help retract. And now with his left arm, he's retracting forwards. And with the right arm, he can now laser a simple circle uh, around that white uh, puckered, well, uh, raised area, really, uh, that does look suspicious for a renal metastasis. And that is indeed what they ended up being. There were multiple nodules on the CT scan, so the, the mission was just to go and and remove several of the easy to find nodules just to confirm histologically what the diagnosis is. So Sven has uh, really rather cleverly uh, designed this to combine the CMR surgical system with uh, his laser. Uh, as you can see he's simply taped the laser to one arm of the bipolar and uh, a really nice part, not particularly shown in this part of the video, is that he was actually able to use both arms as a grasper by simply opening and closing his right grasper. He can still uh, use it uh, in order to manipulate the lung. This was purely for histology and not for R0 reception, although it is entirely possible to uh, resect with an R0 resection margin, especially for multiple tumours. Uh, it's especially useful because you are reducing the amount of parenchymal loss you're getting with a deep re wedge resection. Uh, and uh, you just saw there uh, Sven unwound the arm. You might just see the icons. If Perhaps if you look at the top right icon, there's a little half curve, half moon, with a dot. If that retracts to, to the bottom, then you need to unwind the arms. It's very easily done with a long press uh, on, the, on the hand controls. And that was the end of this operation, just to sucker in, just to get rid of the fluid, have a look around, check there's no other nodules. Uh, and a really nice done operation. Uh, one drain stays in overnight and then comes out the next day. Uh, and that's the conclusion of that operation. And uh, just because he's done several of these, uh, we thought we'd show you a second procedure. Uh, this was a bladder cancer in S3, so five mil ports just using scissors to safely get in the chest. These are allied medical five millimeter ports, having first of all inserted a 10 millimeter port. Um, this shows the three instrument units at the top where they haven't been assigned yet. Now, first of all, we're introducing the left bipolar. This is called port training, uh, and you just circle it around, and the robot works out exactly where the remote center is uh, on the chest wall. Uh, and now we're introducing and um, port training our right arm bipolar. And uh, obviously, this is the one, again, with the laser attached to it. And uh, and you can see bottom right, we're using the endoscope on hand controls initially because we put the instruments in first and then after that we attach the uh, endoscope to the, the instrument to the endoscope base unit. Um, that just showed you there are three different speeds of hand control, fine, normal and fast. Dependent on how fine work you want to do, uh, you can set it to any of these three settings. And as you can see, Sven set it to the middle setting. For controls. And now you can see really nicely that Sven can use the bipolar grasper element uh, of the arm he's also using for lasering, which I think was a really nice little creation, a lovely combination of the CMR surgical system with his laser ability. Um, and this, this reduced the amount uh, you needed to get from your assistant as well by being able to use grasping in both hands.
Uh, so now he's just establishing where the single nodule is. Uh, it was in uh, the S3 of the left upper lobe, uh, and uh, just and it's uh, on the pleura, and therefore uh, it's possible to see visually. And uh, just looking to see exactly now we've grasped the nodule exactly where we're going to diathermy, uh, and this as with the previous video is what's really nice about having a robotic system so you can get the exact angle that you want uh, to to perform the laser um, dissection actually optionally it is possible to use something called the aeroseal which is a circulating carbon dioxide system that would evacuate uh, CO2 even quicker Alternatively, you just open up one of the uh, side ports on the Allied Medical System. Uh, we're very lucky in thoracic surgery. CO2 isn't compulsory, unlike in the abdomen, where you need it to inflate the abdomen. Here in the chest, we can optionally use CO2, or if we need to evacuate smoke, just open up some of the other side ports, and that will act as a smoke evacuation system. So Sven very nicely just lifting up and lasering uh, a very accurate laser line to resect this peripheral nodule on the pleura of the lung. As you can see there's a very good view, it's a very stable view platform, there's no tremor at all uh, on the endoscopic camera. Uh, it's an open platform as well so Sven's wearing 3D glasses and it's a nice open screen so anybody can watch his screen as well as there being further screens around the room. There isn't specifically a patient cart with the CMR surgical system. You use your own uh, monitors as many as you like in your own operating room and you can use your own uh, diathermy generator which uh, fits onto the CMR surgical system. The other really innovative feature about the surgeon console is that you can sit down or you can stand up. So Sven actually prefers to stand up because he can go to the table and then come quickly to the surgeon console and return if he wishes. Uh, and, and actually because it has no foot pedals because all the, all the controls are on the hand controls that means you don't need to use your feet there by facilitating the ability to stand up. Uh, and something like this, which is a relatively short procedure, you may have assistants that are relatively new to the system. So as a surgeon, that's a real advantage to be really linked uh, to your scrub surgical team. So you can see the three icons at the top, um, and we have the, the green instrument unit on standby, but in sleep mode as we're not using it. Uh, when Sven does use a third arm, it's very different to other systems, because uh, other systems have to go in a line, whereas the CMR system is more versatile than that. So Sven's found it most useful to, if he wants to have a third retraction arm, place it in either the third or the second intercostal space anteriorly. So very high up really in the chest. If we did have a third arm in, uh, it would actually be above where we're diatherming right now and be just lifting straight up. And that's working really well for him. Uh, it's also worked really well in cadavers and I think that will end up being the standard approach as Sven's making real success of that in Chemnitz. So we're just coming to the end of the dissection here. Uh, great job again, everyone in Chemnitz, really good. Watch out for more videos. Sven's operating every single week in the chest, doing a wide range of operations. And we'll hope to bring you as many of these uh, by video as we possibly can. So there's the resected nodule, very nicely uh, shown there. And we can just now simply take that out uh, in, in the finger of a glove. Uh, I believe that was the thumb of a seven and a half biogel glove. Uh, and that can be very easily uh, removed through even a 5 mil port. Great job Sven and the team, well done and uh, look out for more videos in this series. My name is Joel Dunning, it's been a pleasure to bring you this fantastic operation.